It's showtime at the Apollo. <laughs> Welcome back to the video, guys. Today we're gonna be doing a step-by-step -step, uh, install of the Baja lights on a Roblox. So you guys know I recently installed mine. Um, kind of got ahead of everything and I went and installed everything ahead of time and I didn't have time to film. So now, my friend over here, Peanuts, um, look at this guy, he's happy. He's not too happy because guess what? He ordered the wrong bracket. <laughs> so now we gotta wait a few more days. But what we're gonna do now is that we're just gonna run the harness. So this is like a very important part. We're already stripped down the bike. We took the fairing off. Um, we took the tank off, uh, the seat off, because you're gonna have to uh, wire these down to the battery, your negative and your positive, wiring it down through the frame where all the wires are at. Pretty easy job to do. And then it's just pretty much plug and play with these and the Baja lights. The Baja lights are gonna have, can you pass your Baja light? He wanted to do one amber, one white. So right in the back right here, he's gonna get plugged in. The bracket's like a T type of bracket. So the bracket, two bolts on top, two bolts on the bottom. The lights go on the bracket and pretty much it so I mean it's honestly not that difficult it's just more annoying just taking everything apart so what we're going to show you right now is how to run the wire to the front down to the frame down to the batteries and then in a few days hopefully hopefully we'll um we'll finish the job we'll be dressed differently thank you for not listening to me you should have told about it you should listen to me man I don't listen to me order the wrong bracket man we also have a very, very angry guy here in the back. I ain't angry. <laughs> he kicks children on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you can't say on YouTube, right? Um, this cover right here, we took it off. Uh, this where all the wires run from the bike, from the fairing onto, down to everything, down to the battery. We're gonna run the harness from the front and just put it in here. And the cover should top everything right up. This bird nest is what 40 grand gets you from Harley. Let me see, let's show them. Look at this mess. Come on guys, you can do a little better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part right here, um, your negative and your positive, which is gonna run all the way down. There's gonna be some space right here in the front where the neck of the fairing is at. Uh, the same area where all the wires go through. We're gonna sneak it in through there. You wanna um, tell Yeah, so your bike also has an amp in it because it has loud music. Two. Loud music! No, loud two, noises. Two, two amps, don't downplay my, my audio. Yeah, two amps, my bad. Um, so this is something that I didn't have on my bike. I didn't have an amp, so we're gonna have to just play around with the bracket here and hopefully it, it doesn't interfere with anything. Um, but yeah, we're gonna feed it through that same area. Um, then I got Duffy on the other side. He's gonna pull it. Pull what? Pull, pull the wires or something else? <laughs> I think you need a little flashlight on that side. How far are we from this wire then? Are you up to the plastic? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm exactly right. No, well, they're gonna pop out right through there. Alright, so the whole wire harness came through already. Was well, a bit of a little hassle, but we're gonna run it down so the wires are right here. Then, like I said, you're gonna do your negative or your positive down to your battery. Bonus oh, edition. Bonus. What is this? The heated gear lead. Heated gear lead. Heated gear lead. While we're out here, we're just gonna add this on there as well. So, it's two and getting one. cold. So we had to send that out and get this one kind of overnighted, but it wasn't really overnighted. 
but we got the bracket now. Uh, it's real simple, so one leg goes on this side. Uh, with the swivels right here, you can put the balls at the end, and one on this side as well, so it'll hold the light in place. One here, one there, um, and then you're gonna see these four holes right here. Those are gonna get, um, those are gonna go onto the, exactly the same place where the stock bolts were at before where it was holding the um, stock light. So the fitment is perfect for that. Um, so there's no crazy drilling or cutting or nothing like that. We just checked right out to see if it was gonna fit with his amp as well, and it does, which is a plus. So we're just gonna start putting on the lights on here and mounting it on, and then just plug and play the wires, and we're pretty much done. So, I mean, the hard part's done already, man. You ready, sir? Let's go. Went ahead and I took this part off, just so we could start off with the uh, amber light on the left first. Give myself enough room to put in the bolts and the nuts on this side. Oh, these nuts right here, they actually come with the stock light. They don't come with the bracket. The bracket only comes with the nuts that it is to put together. But the Baja lights does include some nuts and washers, which we're gonna use right here. So we got our nuts, we got a washer, and we're gonna put a washer on the inside. I got the smaller ratchet somewhere, hold on. So we went ahead and took off one of the parts here off the bracket and just installed it on the light first because we weren't gonna have enough space to screw everything on that side. So we'll have enough space to put it for the bottom bolt. So, so that's good. So we'll do that now. And then we'll have the lights basically on the bracket after that. All right, so we're gonna do it now before we screw everything in onto the fairing. We're gonna just uh, plug everything in the back right here. So in the back, as you can see, you have the plugs in. Uh, the harness that we wired up to the bike before is going to go connected right onto there. These gray uh, plugs right here with the arms taps, so that each one of those goes plugged into the Baja's right here. Got one on. Do those caps stay on them? Uh, well, I'll take these caps off first. We can, we can plug it back in now. All right, so we're gonna test it out. Let's see if it works or not. One, two, three. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried. <laughs> Holy smoke. Wow. How that that we didn't mess up your bike? So far. So far, so far. All right, so we'll shut it off. I'll put the hydrogen on right now. Oof. Oof. Oh. Wow. It's crazy. Turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. And uh, what we'll do now is that we'll just set up the four screws on the main uh, frame. All right, so, so he has the, um, what's it called again? An amp. The amp. We'll hold that up. We'll tuck in all the wires. Well, put we'll those, we'll those wires up right there. Which ones? Uh, the main harness right here. So that's like the main. Okay, so now we just ran into a little bit of issue because we have no space to put in the top uh, screws right here. So we're just gonna take these vents out, take them apart so we can loosen the lights so the lights can kind of come down and it'll allow us to have more space to go straight in and squeeze in instead of going down like this. Okay, so what we had to do here, little issue, we had to take the lights off the uh, bracket um, in order to get some space in there because the amp was just in the way and the lights, the way we were trying to coordinate everything on there was just wasn't matching up. Took the lights off, put the bracket on first onto the bike, and now what we're doing is that we're just putting one light in at a time. Um, the other's gonna go in right here. And I think that should, uh, that should solve the problem. Once again, I'm gonna say, this is not hard, it's just a lot of tedious work, man. And having an amp doesn't help. Nope. So, if you don't have an amp, you don't have no sound system on your bike, it'll definitely be in your, uh, in your favor. All right, so let me tell you something right now. If you have an amp, guys, you're gonna have a real difficult time. Um, we gotta kinda like take everything apart. 
Um, it, we had to just finagle everything on how to put two of these bolts in and try to wiggle it in at the same time to try to put the other side in. It, it's been a headache and it's all because of the amp right here. Um, but we uh, pretty much got everything done right now. After this, it's just basically putting all the parts back on, the fairing and everything else. And then uh, we're good to go, man. Ah. And it works. Let's get the fair. Mm -hmm. Let's get the fair now. All right, ladies and gents, what we're gonna do, test what, it. what we're gonna do now is mock everything up to so make sure everything's gonna fit well. There. How does the front look? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you put on Baja lights. I think. I think, yeah. For now. Yeah, well, good thing is that the amp, everything's good out here, so you can actually just put everything on right now if you want. Um, we're just gonna put the gas tank on, put the fairing on, the windshield, then we're pretty much it. I'm not gonna show you guys that because that's just stuff you could do, but the whole point of this video was to kind of show you a kind of step-by-step -step on how to go about these lights. Um, I gotta say, what what bracket is this? So, this is the um, G Arthur Baja Light setup. Okay. It's a really good product, but I, what I would definitely recommend if it's a pain in the ass. Also, because it, if, it, if if I didn't have the amp. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is that if you have an amp, guys, it's it's gonna be a hassle because you don't have enough play area to play around. We didn't want to take it off because I don't know anything about music and this guy doesn't know much. About anything. He just knows how to put the music up, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we didn't really want to mess around with the music and, and mess up the amp. Um, so we left it at that. But without the amp, you're gonna have a lot more space. So most people out there don't have amps, so you're, you're good. Um, Even this bracket, I, me personally, I like the bracket that I use better because this bracket comes in a bunch of pieces and it's a lot of pieces you gotta put together and, and then playing around with this is, is kind of a hassle. Um, I would recommend using the bracket I originally told you to use, which I'll link down in the bottom. Um, but it's, it's a one solid piece bracket um, and then you, all you gotta do is just screw on the lights to it. This has multiple pieces. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll link down the link to this bracket and then the link down to the bracket I use. The one I use I believe is a little bit more money, but you get a little bit less hassle. Um, you want to step away and kind of see it, turn it on and see how it looks? Yeah. I'm so excited. I was aggravated though, don't get me wrong. He was. On the Flashy. Top. Lights. Jesus Christ. I can just picture both of us riding in the front. Yo. With both these lights. The, the, this is another reason why you and me always seem to ride in the front now. For any group rides. Because we're just gonna blind everyone. So I got a pair of Baja lights. Peanuts has a pair of Baja lights now. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are interested, uh, Baja lights are a little expensive. Yes, but they're well worth it. Um, yes, they're annoying. Yes. Yes, they're super bright. Yes, we're gonna be those guys. They're definitely annoying. I agree with a lot of people when they say they're really bright, but honestly, as someone who rides a lot, local, highway, back streets, I'd rather have too much light than not enough light. Yeah. Um, especially with a lot of these cars nowadays, you guys know people texting and driving, and hey, it's gonna wake everybody up now. So It does. Um, and it looks good. So you got 10,000 lumens on one side and then 10,000 lumens on the other. So you're, it's 20,000 lumens that you're, you're facing right now. So it's a lot uh, compared to like the stock light or compared to all the lights out there. Looks cool. It's a headache to put on, but you're gonna stand up on the pack. You're gonna have a lot of crazy light. Um, you're gonna see everything on the road. Um, that's it, man. We did, a, we did a good job. It's been a while. Fire and ice. <laughs> Oh, y'all should go on. That's it. 
<laughs> like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. <laughs> it's funny how we're just like, yeah, both like, hit it. Did we just become best friends? We had a step brother's moment. Did we just become best friends, man? Again? You don't want to say it? Again? All right. Heated deep, heated gear. Why can't I say that? Heated, heated lead. Heated lead gear? No, heated gear. Heated gear lead. Or heated lead gear. Hold up, hold up.